Hello and welcome back to your English class. In the previous class, we were learning and reading about the poem An Elementary School Classroom in a Slum. And the poem is written by Stephen Spender. Uh, I gave you the introduction and I explained to you what the poem is about. So the poem is about a classroom or a school which is in the slum. और झोपड़पट्टी में या ऐसे इलाकों में कैसे स्कूल होते हैं कैसे बच्चे होते हैं और उनके लिए स्कूल कितना मायने रखता है कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है क्या वो स्कूल जा सकते हैं उनकी कंडीशंस क्या हैं उनके पास क्या फैसिलिटीज़ हैं ये सब चीज़ें इन इन सब चीज़ों के बारे में आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू इन द प्रीवियस क्लास टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द थर्ड एंड द fourth uh, paragraph uh, just a quick recap of what we did in the last class uh, last class mein humne bataya tha aapko ki uh, about the uh, various kind of uh, students that are coming in the class so there is a tall girl jo ki apni life ke tension se she is quite bent down and she you know she doesn't have the courage and the confidence to put her head up then there is one boy who is uh, not properly uh, formed means uske jo bones hain wo bahut deformed type ki bones hain kyunki usko koi bimari hai usko malnutrition hai khane ki kami se wo develop nahi hua hai then there is also a, a boy who is very very thin and jo uski aankhein bhi aisi lagti hai jaise wo rats आइज हो जैसे चूही जैसी आँखें बड़ी बड़ी और बत, बहुत दुबला पतला है एंड दिस ऑल्सो वेरी यंग एंड हैंडसम गुड लुकिंग बॉय हो वो फील्स हु सिट्स एट द बैक ऑफ द क्लास रूम एंड ही फील्स दैट देर इज समथिंग ही हैज ड्रीम्स इन हेज आईज ही हैज होप एंड ही फील्स दैट सम डे ही विल बी एबल टू फुलफिल दोज ड्रीम्स in the second uh, paragraph i told you something about how the classroom looks like aur wahan pe ek shakespeare ki photo hai uh, and uh, there is also a map there are sceneries around in the classroom and it is so ironic kyunki ye sab jo photographs hain jis ke bare mein uh, shakespeare ke bare mein ya map ke bare mein ye sab jo cheeze hain wahan pe hai it is um, so ironic because वहाँ पढ़ाई तो ठीक से होती नहीं है लोगों को उनकी दे डोंट नो अबाउट शेक्सपियर दे डोंट नो अबाउट वॉट ही रोट अबाउट और कितना उसका कितने क्लासिक्स थे कितने जो लिखता था तो कितना इम्पोर्टेंट था या उसका महत्व क्या था दे डोंट नो अबाउट इट सो इट इज़ सो यूजलेस फॉर देम देर इज़ अ मैप ओवर देर मैप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बट इज़ सो यूजलेस फॉर देम बिकॉज Uh, वो वहाँ से निकल ही नहीं सकते हैं उनके पास वो फैसिलिटीज़ नहीं है कि वो दे कैन मूव आउट ऑफ दैट स्लम एरिया एंड गो आउट एंड फुलफिल द ड्रीम्स एंड द फ्यूचर ऑफ दीज चिल्ड्रन इज क्वाइट ब्लीक ब्लीक इन द सेंस इज क्वाइट फॉगी दे डोंट नो वॉट द फ्यूचर लाइज दे लिव इन अ वेरी कंजस्टेड एरिया दे लिव इन अ वेरी क्रैम्प्ड अप एरिया उन लोगों के पास घर भी प्रॉपर नहीं है खाने को भी प्रॉपर नहीं है तीन टाइम का खाना है उनको नसीब ही नहीं है एक समय का भी खाना नसीब नहीं है उस सर्कमस्टांसिस में वो इतने पल्यूटेड एरिया में और अनहाइजीनिक सिचुएशंस uh, में एग्जिस्ट कर रहे हैं दैट इज़ क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट फॉर देम एंड दैट इज़ वाई द पोइट से इज दैट द फ्यूचर इज सो फॉगी एंड दे आर लिविंग इन इन सर्कमस्टांसिस विच आर नॉट नॉर्मल फॉर अ ह्यूमन बींग बट दे आर स्टिल एग्जिस्टिंग दे आर स्टिल लिविंग देर सो देर होप्स एंड डिज़ायर्स फॉर अ बेटर फ्यूचर आर ऑल्सो वेरी ब्लीक नाउ वी स्टार्ट विद द थर्ड पैराग्राफ शोली शेक्सपियर इज विकेट एंड द मैप अ बैड एग्जाम्पल विद शिप्स एंड सन एंड लव टेम्पिंग देम टू स्टील for lives that slyly turn in their cramped holes from fog to endless night or their slag heap these children wear 
skins peeped through my bones and spectacles of steel with mended glasses like bottled bits on stones. All of their time and space are foggy then, slum, so blot their maps with slums as big as doom. Unless governor, teacher, inspector, visitor, this map becomes their window and these windows that shut upon their lives like catacombs. Break or break open till they break the town and show the children to green fields and make their world run azure and gold sands and let their tongues run naked into books, the white and green leaves. Open history there's whose language is the sun. Again, I'll read the second, uh, sorry, the third paragraph, and then I'll explain that to you. Surely Shakespeare is wicked, and the map is a bad example, with ships and sun and love tempting them to steal. For lives, they slyly turn in the cramped holes from fog to endless night. Okay, so the poet over here is telling that uh, the picture of Shakespeare or the map of the world or the sceneries which are showing um, them ships and sun, they are also ironic. They shouldn't be there because these pictures are giving these children hope, a hope or uh, these pictures are letting them to wish to see a dream which is impossible for them to complete, right? Because uh, nobody comes and teaches over there. So they don't know who Shakespeare is. They don't know what he has written and why he has written. They don't have any idea of that. Secondly, the map of the world, they know there are many places around the world, but their world is in that slum, right? Their world is... Uh, in that cramped up congested area okay and they uh, how do they sleep it's it's a small room and uh, there are 10 to 12 to 15 people in one room so sometimes when there is no place inside the room they go and sleep on the heap of garbage so so that is the world or the maps or the ships or the sun the sceneries and beautiful they are giving them hope that there is also a world where we can go but unfortunately they don't have resources because of which they can go there because of which they can complete their dreams unfortunately they don't have even whatever season is there, it was uh, winter, rain or summer, that the fog is coming inside their homes. They are shivering with cold. If it is raining, the water is, uh, you know, filled inside that room. But they still exist in that circumstances, right? So things are very difficult for them. And then he says, on their slag heap, these children wear skins peeped through by bones and spectacles of steel with mended glass like bottle bits on stones. All of their time and space are foggy slum, so blot their maps with slums as big as dome. Right? So he says that, He says that their world is so, so dim, okay, their world is not so bright, their world is not like our world because they do not have the resources, they are uh, economically, they are very poor or they don't have food to eat. So he is saying that bones are peeping out of their bodies. Flesh nahi hai, kyunki unke paas khana hi nahi hai khane ke liye. Right? And kabhi kabhi, jaysay ki, joh kachre mein se joh saman uthate hai, usi ko hi woh kisi tarhe se use karte hai. 
uh, for one example he is given that if supposing somebody wants to wear a specs जैसे नज़र कमज़ोर है और चश्मा पहनना है तो वो कचरे में ढूंढते हैं और फिर उसी को किसी तरह से जोड़ जाड़ के दे आर वेयरिंग इट दे आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ वॉट पीपल रिच पीपल हैव थ्रोन अवे सो दे आर पिकिंग इट फ्राम द गार्बेज एंड मेकिंग थिंग्स विच दे कैन यूज सो यू कैन इमेजिन द कंडीशन दैट दे आर लिविंग इन दिस दे आर डिप्लोरेबल कंडीशन they are pathetic conditions but still these people are surviving in those conditions and all he says that all their time and space are foggy slums yani ki they are so foggy their life is so foggy their area is so polluted so unhygienic ki agar wo jo map unke classrooms mein lage hue hain agar usme wo apne slum ko dhoondne ki koshish kare so they will not be able to find those slums over there okay because they are invisible invisible in the sense that nobody gives them any importance they are just like insects that are existing over there then we come to the last paragraph unless governor teacher inspector visitor this map becomes their window and these windows are shut down upon their lives like catacombs break or break open till they break the town and show the children to green fields and make their world run azure on golden sands and let their tongues run naked into books the white and green leaves open history theirs whose language is the sun so he says ki the only time जब बच्चे उस स्कूल में आते हैं या थोड़ा सा उनका ध्यान रखा जाता है द ओनली टाइम इज़ वेन सम गवर्नर इज़ कमिंग फॉर इंस्पेक्शन सम टीचर्स आर कमिंग फॉर इंस्पेक्शन सम इंस्पेक्टर्स आर कमिंग फॉर इंस्पेक्शन और सम विजिटर्स आर कमिंग सिर्फ लोगों को दिखाने के लिए ये बड़े बड़े जो ऑफिसर्स होते हैं जब इन लोगों के आने का समय होता है only then the some importance is given the school is made neat and clean the children are dressed up and they are told to come to school and that's the only time when some sort of importance is given to these children otherwise it's it's a very pathetic state of affairs it's it's like as if they are as if that school is like a like an underground grave where nobody comes in which absolutely uh, empty only tables and chairs are there there are no students no teachers no books nothing whatsoever so it the end the writer says the poet says that we people who are educated people or the people who are uh, businessmen or who are uh, who can afford to make things better they should come forward and help these children to pursue their dreams and help these children to fulfill their dreams otherwise it's of no use okay no use of taking care of those children only when the inspection is there or only when some people or visitors are coming in to check on them we saying that they also have a life they also are like any other child they want to run wild in the fields they also want to see the sun set and sunrise they also want to run in the green fields like wild horses they also want to uh, you know mug up those books mug up matlab wo books padhna chahte hain yaad karna chahte hain samajhna chahte hain aur wo janna chahte hain ki unke slums ke अलावा जो दुनिया बाहर एग्जिस्ट करती है वो कैसी है लेकिन अगर उनकी कंडीशन इतनी डिप्लोरेबल रहेगी और इफ दे कंडीशन इज सो एग्जॉस्टेड पैथेटिक इकोनॉमिकली सो वीक देन दिस चिल्ड्रन विल नेवर बी एबल टू सी अ बेटर फ्यूचर सो इट इज आर ड्यूटी द पीपल हु कैन अफोर्ड to let them fulfill their dreams and if we take one step forward then these children will also see the deep blue sky not the polluted sky not the gray sky that they are living under 
but they will also see a beautiful sunrise they will also understand the language that you and we and you and i speak they will also understand what numbers are what subjects are and what uh, uh, is uh, development or progress or what is life as such so it is our duty to help such children so just go through the poem once again if you do not understand see the, this video on a repeat mode i'm sure you'll be able to understand it i'll send the central idea in the next class till then take care stay safe stay at home bye bye